That's it. That's it. That you won a hundred dollars. That's it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, bro. You won the hundred. Way of life as cute. Even a hundred. Guys, here's how it's going to work. Pay attention to the rules. I'm gonna say it once, but I have to say it a lot of times. There's gonna be six questions. Six. Okay. Once you hit the third question, you unlock your first gift. The first gift will be an Amazon gift card. It's a gift card, mashallah, spend it, use it, do whatever you want with it. Keep it as a souvenir if you want to, okay. Once you hit the fourth question, you are automatically receiving, if you get it correctly, if you answer the fourth question correctly, you're receiving some dopes indeed, clothing, gear, everything. This reminded you, is sponsored and brought to you by Sindeed, all right? All this money, all these, you know, AirPods and cash and all that stuff doesn't just come out the, you know, nowhere. It comes from sponsors, all right? So the more people sponsor my videos, the more cool stuff I get to give you guys, all right? So keep that in mind. If you get to the fifth question and you answer correctly, you win a hundred US dollars, friends. A hundred dollars you shall win. The final question is the sixth question. And if you get that correct, you win these Apple Air Pod Pros, guys. This is what we were in it for. You wanna win these over here, all right? This is a fun way for you guys to sharpen up your skills and your Islamic knowledge. All right, this been a day one Islamic quiz powered by Sadiq, taking you back to the origins. Who do we have as our first contestant? All right, Bismillah, bro, where are you calling in from? Uh, Texas. Texas? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Assalamu sister, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kenya. Kenya, mashallah, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Wa alaikum salam. Where are you calling from? I'm from Kenya. Kenya, man, mashallah, I'm from Kenya. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, bro. Where are you calling from? Hamilton, Ontario. Canada. Ontario, my man, Canada. All right, love Canada. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Wa alaikum salam, Where are you calling from? From Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington, bro. That's beautiful, man. I hit the, I hit the pump. Okay. Welcome, Salam, bro. Where are you calling from? I'm from India. India, bro. Bismillah. It's probably Sahur time over there, yeah? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum Salam. I just got a haircut. Oh, oh looking good, bro. You just came back from Umrah. What's up? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Salam, bro. Where are you calling from? Uh, Michigan. Michigan, mashallah. Bro, I'm good. Where are you calling from? Ohio. 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 Okay. Ready? Yeah. Alright, ready. Let's go. Round. One. Question, which surah when recited at home either prevents shaitan from entering or sends him away? Suratul Jinn. Suratul Jinn. Is this your final answer, sister? No, no. Let me... Oh, are you Googling? Do I hear typing? I tell Kursi. Final answer, you have 12 seconds left. Suratul Falak. Falak, final answer? Suratul Bakra. Are you sure, final answer? Yes. Have you Googled this? No. You sure? No. I tell Kursi? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I'm so sorry, bro. Not the correct answer. Four, three, two, one. Oh, mashallah. I'm sorry, my sister. Your time has run out. Mashallah, bro. Mashallah. Mashallah. I'm sorry. That's the incorrect answer. We love you, though. We all love this, Yaki. What's your name? Sammy. Sammy? Congratulations. This is the second. You got the right answer. Let's go, Sammy. Let's go! Who was known as the friend of Allah? Allah. Who was known? Nabi Ibrahim alayhi yes. salam. Final answer. Final answer. You sure? Yes. Khalid Allah, right? Khalid Allah. Well, listen, what's your name by the way, bro? Muhammad. Muhammad? I'm sorry, Muhammad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. But that is the correct answer, Muhammad! That is the correct answer! Let's go! Question is this. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Used to meditate in a cave of Hira, which was located on what mountain? Or, uh, Jabal al Nur. Jabal al Nur, is that your final answer, bro? Yes. Final answer, what's your name, bro? Muad. Muad? May Allah bless you, Muad. That is the correct answer, Muad. Let's go, Muad. Good stuff. Who was the father of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu wife, Aisha radiallahu an? Which Prophet heard from Allah from a burning bush? Your time has started. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Is that your final answer, bro? Uh, no, no. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Okay, is that your final answer? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love the no, no. 15 seconds. Uh, Musa alayhi. Mo Moses, Prophet Moses. 
Musa al Islam. Yes. Final answer. Yes. You sure? Brother, what's your name? Muhammad Abdul Karim. Muhammad Abdul Karim. Bro, final answer? Yes, go for it. M Moses, yes? Yes. Muhammad! The correct answer, bro, Muhammad. Yes, that is absolutely correct. How old was the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he received his first revelation? That's your, final is that your final answer, bro? Yeah, four zero. What's your name, by the way? Uh, Shakib. Shakib? Mm -hmm. Shakib, man. <sighs> man, I feel bad for you. It's fine. I'm I feel bad, bad for you, bro. Because of your haircut, because you just got the answer correct, bro. Mashallah, you just got the answer right, mashallah. First question is powered by Sindeed. First question starts now. Which prophet preached for centuries but was mocked by his people because the only the poor followed him. Which prophet preached for centuries but was mocked by his people because only the poor followed him? One minute starts now. Are you sure about that? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Ahmed, man, listen, man, it's been a pleasure having you. I appreciate you so much, bro. Prophet Musa. Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Okay. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah, I'll go with that. MashaAllah, Habib. MashaAllah, Habib. Woo! Yeah, Aww. you did not get it. I'm sorry, bro. I love you for the sake of Allah. But that was the correct answer. You know you got it right, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. Which prophet was sold as a slave by his brother? Prophet Musa. You sure? Yes? yes? Yes, final answer. I'm sorry, Sammy, but that is the correct answer, Sammy! You just got two of them, come on, let's go! Other than a trader, like a businessman, besides that, what other profession did the Prophet ﷺ have before revelation being received? It's a tough one. Once you find the answer, are you gonna kick yourself? But it's okay. Uh, probably, I don't know. It's okay, man. Take a stab at it. You never know. You have 30 seconds. Um, no, I don't know. No idea? No idea. Oh, brother oh. Mohammed, make sure that you look it up now, okay? This is on you now. Look this answer up for yourself. I appreciate you for playing, Brother Muhammad. May Allah bless you. Who is buried directly next to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu wa Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. Ooh, you sure about that, Muad? Alhamdulillah. Okay, final answer, Muad? Yes. Okay, that is correct, Muad! That is correct! You're moving on to the third round, Muad. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, yes. Who are the rightly guided Khalifas? Your time has started. Abu Bakr Siddiq, Razialla Ta'ala. Okay. Hazrat Umar, Razialla Ta'ala. Okay. Usman Ghani, Razialla Ta'ala. Okay. Hazrat Ali Raziyallahu Final answer? Yes, four Khalifas. Uh, you don't have to give orders, you just gave the number, that's fine. Final answer? Yeah, four. Yes, final answer. I'm sorry, Brother Muhammad, but that was the correct answer! You got it correct, Brother Muhammad! Let's go, let's go, baby, let's go! Bismillah, Bismillah! Okay, we get there, we get there. Listen, you're getting one step closer to this, bro. How you feeling? Who was the mother of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's grandson? Hassan and Hussein. Alhamdulillah, I think I'm just gonna have to give a guess for this one. Um, yeah, to be honest, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna have to guess. Uh, okay, hopefully I'm not offending anyone. <laughs> Don't worry about that, bro. People make mistakes. It's all right. Okay, uh, Mariam, Okay, is that your final answer? Yes. 
Yeah, that's my final answer. Shakir, mashallah, bro. One step closer to the AirPods. You are not. I'm oh. sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. I have to do that to you. That is not the correct answer. However, I do want you to find the answer. I do want you to find out what the answer is. Okay, bro? Round three. Third question, which is right now, if you get it correct, you win a gift card. Fourth question, you win some clothes. Fifth question, you get the hundred. Sixth question, you get the AirPods. All right, Bismillah, ready? Third question. What is the only thing a martyr is accountable for on the day of judgment? Um. What is a martyr accountable for the day of judgment? Now remember, a martyr becomes a green bird in paradise. You know, a martyr is the highest rank that you could ever want. But even something for a martyr is not forgivable, right? It's not able to, uh, they're accountable for. What is that thing? You have 30 seconds. Okay. So even if a martyr, like, if it's a big, like, sin, could that be, like... I can't help you. Okay. You see this, though? I know you see this. Come on, now. Come on, my man, Sammy. You got this. I believe in you. And no, no trick, uh, no... Trick question, right? Nothing. Everything's uh, straightforward. Okay, okay, okay. You, I believe in you, Sammy. But you got eight seconds left. Yeah, yeah okay. So um, they, they are held accountable for uh, for their prayers. Ooh, that is the time. You answered it right on time. Sammy, unfortunately, oh. that is not the correct answer, Sammy. Great try, great job, great effort. May Allah bless you, Sammy. As mentioned in the Quran, who are the people to be rewarded without reckoning, meaning Jannah without anything on the Day of Judgment? Where are you looking, Wad? Where are you looking? I don't know what. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Wad. Listen, look up the answer yourself, though, okay? Who was the wet nurse of the Prophet ﷺ? Meaning, who nursed the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ? Like, where did he drink milk from? It wasn't from his mother. That's his only. That's my only hint. Who was the wet nurse? Can you please repeat the question? Please? Yes, I can. Okay. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was breastfed. Who was the person who breastfed him? It wasn't his mother. That's my only hint. Dai Halima. Final answer. Yes. Is someone helping you? No, I'm alone, sitting alone here. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Brother Muhammad, you just want the gift card! MashaAllah, MashaAllah. You just want the gift card, Brother Muhammad. MashaAllah, that is true, guys. Yes, the wet nurse for the Messenger Sallallahu was Halima, radiallahu an. May Allah have mercy on her. Round four. Remember, guys, Islamic quiz brought to you and powered by Sindeed. Bringing you back to the origins. We couldn't do it without him. Thank you, Sindeed. What did... The Prophet Ibrahim asked Allah for when he was old. Can you please repeat the question? Yes, I can. What did Ibrahim ask Allah for, made dua for, when he was old? He asked uh, for his uh, child to Allah. Yeah. Okay. He, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, he asked for his child to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Okay. Brother Muhammad, you just got to the fifth question. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Round uh, five. Wow, okay, bro. Who was the first commander of the archers in the Battle of Uhud? He was a Sahabi. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. He was a Sahabi, and he was the commander for the Battle of Uhud, the one that where they were at the mountain and they were supposed to, you know, use the arrows. What was his name? Wow, it's really early in the morning. You heard that? <laughs> I heard the cuckoo. -cuckoo. Mm, you have asked me a tough question. Yeah, bro. It's a tough question. It's a, 
What's for a hundred dollars? Of course it's a tough question. Any blue and any option? Um. Uh, man, I don't know. There's there's not really a clue for this. It's one of those like you either know it or you don't. Battle of Uhud. Battle of Uhud. What was his name? This is nerve wracking, bro. Final answer? Time's up. Has to be that one. Yes? Bro, that's it. I can't help you, man. I can't help you. This is it. This is the quiz, bro. That's what I told you. Hey, do you want to play for the 100 or do you want to just take the clothes? All right, bro, listen. Great game, but unfortunately, oh. brother, what happened? You did not win. You got the last question incorrect, my bro. I'm so sorry about that. Alhamdulillah, Brother Muhammad still won an Amazon gift card, which is better than nothing. Plus, he did really well, and I don't want anyone to leave empty handed if they pass the third round. Powered by Sindeed, of course. Who gave the Muslims a place to stay in Abyssinia? Abyssinia. Is that. Is that Utopia? Can't help you. Okay. Uh. What time was it? Say that again? What, what was the king? Was the king was the um, yeah, so basically there was a time where the Muslims did hijrah to Abyssinia. Okay? Who is there, bro? Am I seeing someone? Am I seeing someone? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Make it sure, bro. Yeah. Who gave the Muslims refuge, a place to stay in Abyssinia? 20 seconds. Okay. The king of Ethiopia. Okay, what was his name? But what did you say? What's your final? What's your answer? The king of Ethiopia. The king of Ethiopia. Let me go into the comment section. Let me ask the people. Let me ask the people. They'll decide if that's a good enough answer. Tell me right now, guys. Should he get it? Should he get it for that answer? What do you guys think? I need an answer. It's your fate lies with them, bro. If they say no, if they say no, if he should get it, what do you guys think? He said the king of Abyssinia. Do you think that's good enough? Is that good enough, guys? Answer him. His fate lies in your hands. They're saying yes? Okay, they're saying yes. Brother Mohammed, you got the correct answer, baby. The, the, the right answer, official name, is the Nagas. Najashi, the King Najashi. Najashi, bro, listen. Right now, it has come to an end of our show because we've been on for an hour. Instagram is going to cut it off. But tomorrow... 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Come back again and you pick up from the third question. Okay, bro? Okay, study. Do something. Make some dua, bro. But this was it. We have to pause it over here, okay? But you'll be the first person. You'll be the first person to ask tomorrow, okay? What's your username so I know? Hold on. No, don't hang up yet, bro. Hold on. Don't hang up. What's your username? It's smooth. Okay, bro. DM me so I have it so that you don't, you know, I don't play you. DM me, okay? Okay. We're going to start off the show with you tomorrow, okay, bro? Okay. Okay, salam alaikum, bro. Alhamdulillah, brother Ahmed got the correct answer. However, it was time for the live session to finish. So now, brother Ahmed will pick up starting tomorrow exactly where he left off. Well, here we have it, guys. Day one of the Islamic Ramadan quiz. Tell me in the comment section below how you guys liked it. And be honest, did you guys get those answers correct? These are tough questions when you put on the spot. Listen, I want to give you guys an opportunity to win the hundreds as well and the AirPods. Someone give me a good idea in the comment section below. The best idea to help my YouTube fans win this will be pinned to the top and then I'm going to include the YouTube fam as well. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode where we see if Brother Ahmed wins the AirPods or not. Only one way to find out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well and uh, yeah, watch my last video or something. Love you all guys. Assalamualaikum. I'm out.